Good evening everybody, hope you're all doing well, it's time for our predictions video and in this video we're going to take a look at all of the newer skins that rotated into the Rust Store just four hours ago and we're going to try our best to figure out which of these skins potentially could be the best investment or which of these skins could potentially give us some delicious looking profits. So first things first, remember what I say, as an investor I'm never rushing into buying tons of skins immediately, I like to take my time, I want to see how many sales have happened, if there are, if there are abnormal skins I'd like to do my buy orders on them first then look at their bar to support, then consider jumping in and buying them potentially on the first day. So remember, that's my approach. It tends to be the safest approach. But don't forget, if you like any of these skins, by all means, you can buy them for yourself. So buy them, use them, support the skin creators, you know, keep them nice and motivated. But as an investor, I like to take my time and then maybe I'll buy 50 or 100 of them. You get the idea. So let's get started. Out of all of these skins, which is looking to be potentially the best investment? Well, it's kind of obvious. We've got the Pirate Tier 2 right in front of us. So we have been keeping track of the likes of the Pirate Collection, and it's been selling quite a lot, hasn't it? We've got all the core pieces now. We have the Tier 3 armor. We have the hoodie and pantaloons. And now we have the Tier 2. So in theory, the absolute best gear that you'd wear would be the likes of the Tier 3 armor with the hoodie and pants and, of course, the kilt. A complete set, lovely. And with the appearance of this appearing today, we of course can see all of the pirate collection getting bought out. Very nice. But we now have to sit here and say what's likely going to happen to the tier 2 armour. There's a lot to unpack, so sit back and relax. Let's just jump straight in. Pirate kilt. I saw this during my Rust Workshop skin checks. And I should point this out, guys. This... A lot of the skins that came out this week were early picks. And if you don't fully understand this, basically, if we quickly hop over to here, you can see that uh, with my Rush Workshop skin checks, I talk about all the newer skins that appear over the past weekend. A lot of the skins that came out this week were early picks. They came out this past weekend. You wouldn't have seen this in the TGG video. As an investor, you have to be aware of all the new skins that are coming out on the workshop. All right. It helps you out a lot. So, yeah, I fully, I was fully aware that this was coming. And uh, remember, with my Rush Workshop Skin Checks videos, you don't have to watch the video. I would like it if you did. But you can always just go to the description and just look at all the skins yourself with the collection link that's provided. So we scroll down, the early pick, and then early pick. And then we go all the way to the bottom. What do we see? The Pirate Tier 2. So early pick. We were aware of this, is, uh, this existence beforehand, but not everybody was. So make sure that you are keeping an eye on the workshop. Sound good? Right, so back over to here. We have already talked about this before. We have pointed out how this kilt right here is quite special. I know quite a lot of people are a bit unsure with some of the armor because it's got like the white painting for the bones, but I think they're overreacting a fair bit. The kilt has no paint whatsoever. As you can see here, no white paint nothing and you might be sitting there and say okay so what's so special about this well what have we constantly talked about with the pirate collection what's the what's the main thing that we've been talking about it is a budget alternative to the blackout collection so this blackout kilt right now how much is it selling for eighteen dollars 49 can you afford that i don't think so and this is where the likes of the pirate collection flourishes it's seen as a budget blackout collection and, you know, that probably justifies the amount of sales that we've been seeing for all of the core pieces. Uh, 58,300 for the face mask, 48,700 for the chest plate. Yeah, most of these selling like 50,000 plus. Yeah. But here's the thing. The kilt is here. And the kilt is very desirable. Usually in a, a clothing and armor set, kilt is usually going to be the most in demand because you can use it with the tier 2 armor and the tier 3 armor. So kilt is going to be expected to probably do maybe... I fully believe that's going to do 50,000 sales plus. Wouldn't be surprised. But summer sales literally just finished, hasn't it? We've literally just finished the summer sale. Are we, are we going to see a situation where people don't have enough money to buy as much as they did with the previous Pirate Collection skins? Hmm. This is why I sit here and tell you, take your time. You don't need to rush into buying anything in terms of investment. See how the sales are looking, then make a decision. So with what we see here... In theory, I think it probably will be doing the most sales out of all of the pirate collection. But, as I've already said, it's probably going to be also used in budget blackout sets. Wouldn't be surprised if people mention this a lot on the likes of TikTok and whatnot. Hey guys, I've got a, I've got a budget alternative to spending a ridiculous amount on the uh, blackout collection. Instead, we can use some of the pirate collection. Or, you know, it used to be that people would use the likes of Dragon Rage and uh, Black Gold. So Black Gold... I believe the black gold kilt's still like ten dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go, ten dollars right there. And then we got the lights of the Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage kilt 
was the cheapest budget blackout option and now it's starting to go down in price a fair bit it was selling for about four dollars today now it's starting to go down towards three dollars why well a cheaper and potentially better option has appeared so yeah this has stolen all of its thunder very nice so in the long term by default i think that kill 100 percent will be a nice investment it's going to take quite some time though also the amount of sales definitely will impact the likelihood of that actually happening because i will sit here and say the whole pirate collection even during the summer sale and whatnot and the 75 percent discount on the csgo paris capsules they still managed to stay above their rust or price and stay in the positive even though they sold a stupidly high amount so look that should be fine that kill should be fine but if we see a situation where uh, quite a lot less of them are bought compared to the likes of the hood and pants and the tier three this is going to become a whole lot more valuable as time goes on so keep an eye on that if it only does like forty thousand sales in its first day i might jump in and buy like two or three or four or five hundred of them i'm not joking because i know that will go up in price very comfortably because when you compare it to the rest of the collection and this is something you always have to do usually the out of the important armor pieces <laughs> um you will uh, see that the one that has the least amount of sales as time goes on tends to be the one that rises up in price the most so keep an eye on that and then you know how i mentioned important this is a thing where we need to address the likes of the coffee can and the vest so yeah what ha what tends to happen a lot with a tier 2 armor set when it appears is that uh, as i've said in theory people only care about the tier 3 armor to be paired up with the hoodie the pants and the kilt the coffee can and the vest do get ne neglected quite a lot, especially in collections. And you can see it already. This is already doing more sales compared to these two, but that should be too much of a surprise. Also, very weirdly, the pirate road sign vest is selling at a higher price compared to these two. I don't know what happened there. That's weird. But anyway, there is a potential future where these two will be selling less compared to all of the other pirate collection armor and clothing. But if the, po if the collection proves to be popular and it rises up in price, these two actually could rise up in price by quite a lot simply because a lot less of them were bought compared to the other pieces because in theory, a lot of people like to buy a full collection, 100% complete. So I mentioned this earlier in my Rustle Rotation talk. Uh, there are popular collections where you can see this happen. Forest Raiders, for example, very popular at the moment. But look at how it developed. Started off with tier 3, 30,000 sales each. Hoodie and pants, 30,000 sales each. Tier 2 appears. The kilt, out of the important pieces, actually did a little bit less. And therefore, now it's selling at a very high price. But guess what? It also came out with a vest and a coffee can helmet. And they actually sold out even less, even less, compared to the 30,000 sales that we see here. And now when you look at them by highest price, what do you notice? All, pretty much all of the tier 2 <laughs> is a lot more pricey compared to the other pieces here. Because there's a lot less of them. And most notably here, as I said, they had like two thirds of sales compared to all of the other Forest Raiders, and it's comfortably in the positive. 30 plus dollars each. Could we see a situation where the exact same thing likely happens to like this to likes of this coffee can or this vest? Maybe not up to thirty dollars, but significant enough where it's probably one of the most valuable pieces out of the whole clothing and armor set, simply because there's less of them. Could that happen? We shall see. Um, again, I'm not going to rush into buying these. As an investment, I'd rather take my time. So, yeah, cool. Pirate collection, long term, should be good. Even in a short term, I wouldn't be surprised if they still manage to stay above the Rustor price. And we've mentioned this many times before. Honestly, if you're going to want them, you're probably just going to buy them. Like, when, it, when we had the hoodie and pants, I just straight up said, guys, look, if you want them, just, just go buy them. Because the buy orders are immediately going to go all the way up to a dollar anyway. So yeah you could do both that's totally fine but yeah at the moment by default i'm thinking that okay cool so pirate collection you're good let's move on let's talk about this garage door this garage door is gorgeous it's beautiful it's a work of art mr vase and hanushka did a wonderful job now i might you might be sitting and saying hedge i feel like you're exaggerating look at it at night time and you'll see for yourself so let's go look at the nighttime image and yes wonderful so the glow in the dark is what you see there. That's what it looks like at night time. And the moon, the image of the moon, you know, giving off all the moonlight during this dogfight in the water. All the hazmat DLC variants here. Awesome idea. Execution perfect. I think a lot of people are going to greatly appreciate this. I should also mention that we've been seeing a lot of porcelain uh, deplorable skins fairly recently. This actually jumped ahead of the uh the sheet metal door that we saw quite some time back i thought we we're going to see the sheet metal door today nope so 
Sheet Metal Door could potentially appear next week. That could happen. This is also looking very good as well. So Vase and Anushka are doing a very good job in utilising their Glow in the Dark to make it really stand out and make it look really nice. So again, let's look at a nighttime pick and what does it look like? Even better. Wonderful. I really do feel like this is going to turn into a pretty nice deplorable collection. We already have a whole bunch of deplorable, uh, <clears throat> regular porcelain skins in regards to there's a whole bunch of uh, weapons and clothing and armor already. But we're starting to see more and more deplorable uh, skins. Uh, you know, maybe we'll see the likes of a small box, maybe an armored door, maybe a double door. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more of that. And when we see more deplorable skins being accepted, pre-existing deplorable skins tend to spike in demand a fair bit and go up in price. That's essentially what's happened to the Furnace, which came out last year. But it's been going up in price by quite a significant amount, because, well, you know, what do you see? All right, so this right here, we'll be surprised if we see even more deplorable skins being made. Um, I'm pretty sure they're motivated to keep at it. Every, every deplorable skin they keep making looks all, even better than the previous one. I really do feel like in the long term, this is going to be doing quite all right. But guess what? This is abnormal. I don't feel the need to rush into buying it right now, okay? Like, like I, as I said, if you like the skin, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creator. But as an investor, I'd rather wait it out a fair bit. I'd rather take my time, then look at it, and then make decision, hmm, all right, I've done my buy order. I'm looking at the buy order support. All right, this looks like it's going to definitely maintain its value. It's looking like a perfectly fine to buy. A perfectly fine thing to buy, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, abnormals, very helpful. Use it to your advantage. Right then, so those were the skins that I felt a lot more confident in now i have to start kind of questioning things so the next two skins i'm going to talk about would probably be the black gold double barrel so yeah so black gold double barrel starting off with you um double barrels are a bit weird some do good some do not so good but the, the black gold double barrel is part of a well-established collection i have reason to believe it would more likely retain its value yes now we should also point out recently we've been seeing a lot of rust skins suffering for a fair bit because of the summer sale loads of people are cashing out their skins to get some wallet then go buy cheap summer games uh, steam games during the summer so yeah um i do get the feeling this one might be a bit better off but uh, yeah, on average, this did like, okay, so this did like 12,000 sales. This did t just under 23,000 sales. This did about 15,000 sales. But like, even here, No Mercy Double Barrel Shotgun, part of a well-established collection, even that's suffering. So the Black Gold Double Barrel. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if it potentially goes down in price at some point. But a smart buy order could still lead to good profit. So this is why I said hard maybe on some of these skins. I, I, it's a fair bit questionable. But I do feel like a lot of people would like the appearance of all of this. Does look nice. Does look nice in game. Nice and shiny. Golden. Who wants to blast some heads off with a nice big golden gun? I'm sure you do. So I get the feeling this would probably be one of the more desirable double, sh double barrel shotguns that came out fairly recently. And it's affordable. So it might be a buy order situation. So this is why I point out, look, it's abnormal. We don't need to rush into buying it. We can do a buy order first. And then we can question if the bar to support is there and then consider buying it. Sound good? All right. We also have the AR Nana. Now, <laughs> this is goofy. Do you see Banana Man open on the white hot sand? Do you like what you see? It's bright and yellow and it's goofy. Do you want Banana AR? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't make that work. But yeah, this is a bright yellow AK. Now, We've had quite a lot of banana skins, haven't we? Um, we can quickly show that to you right here. Debski, hello, hello. Quite a lot of them are not doing so well at the moment. Again, I point out, I, I must point out, Summer Sale just recently happened. A lot of skins were sold. When we were going through the good times, quite a lot of these banana skins are actually doing quite all right. Not insane, but better. So the point I want to get across to all of you is, I get the feeling, as time goes on, we're probably going to see even more goofy banana skins being accepted. And I think the whole set probably would do quite all right. Maybe you'll see some clothing armor skins at some point. That would be cool. Deplorable skins. I wouldn't say no to that. But this is an AK. And AKs tend to be very bad investments. If they don't really stand out that much. That does stand out. So let's just go take a look at all of the AKs that came out recently. You might be pointing out, oh, Redemption AR, Redemption AR. We recently had a very weird problem with listings, Steam Market listings. Um, if you have been looking at the likes of the uh, Redemption AK fairly recently, you'd notice that there were no actual sale listings. And 
essentially um you could only sell it to the highest buy order if you wanted to sell it but it's been fixed recently and now you might be sitting there and say oh but it's got 524 listings yeah it does but with a steam uh extension i have here steam uh, steam inventory helper i can just click show more orders scroll down and you'll notice that the vast majority of all of that quantity is actually selling above five dollars it seems 305 right there so don't be fooled it looks like someone's just trying to scare people into selling theirs at a cheaper price plus this is actually selling in a positive SEMM is just a bit delayed so yeah but this banana AK does it stand out in a positive way you might remember the likes of this Kiss AR do you remember the Kiss AR bright pink silly goofy people like using it people enjoy using it and the demand is there so price of this right now is currently at three dollars and the builder is going to work to uh, two dollars fifty ish so look my point is I'm led to believe when you look at all of these other AKs, they're not that interesting looking. They're not immediately like, oh, wow, well, that's stand out. No. But when you look at this, and when you look at this, they do kind of look a fair bit better. This is also part of a well-established and liked collection so far. Banana collection, what do you reckon? Do you like it enough? I am half convinced the AK could actually do quite all right as time goes on. I wouldn't be surprised if a, you know people look at it in a goofy way and actually enjoy using it i know it's it's all about appearances bit iffy there but do you like a banana peel it down and go mm -mm, sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i can't stop singing it um i think i think it probably will be doing fairly okay all right so buy order first because it's abnormal then we'll see what the support looks like then we'll make a decision but i feel like in the long term he would actually do quite all right this ak and I wouldn't be surprised if we see even more banana skins being made. So, yeah. You know what? I actually will talk about the other two skins. I'm not as confident in them. But we'll start with the likes of this uh, Crab Rock here. So, not 100% confident because with all of these rocks being accepted, all of the recent ones are all themed around animals. And, uh, again, it was really goofy when we saw the likes of the Frog Rock being accepted and the Capybara Rock and the Hamster Rock. But... We keep seeing more animal rock skins being accepted. And this is proven to be a bit of a problem. If there's tons of them, it's not so special anymore, is it? So, yeah, a bit awkward now. And do you think it's going to stop? No. Like, this hermit crab rock actually beat out a puffer fish rock, which looked awesome. I'm actually surprised this was picked over it. Not to sound mean, I just... I know the puffer rock had more support on the Steam uh, workshop and whatnot. But still perfectly fine skin. Perfectly fine. Goofy. And I know people would appreciate him. But the problem is, is with every new animal skin being accepted, people suddenly have more options. And therefore, <laughs> yeah, um, they're not all special anymore. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, before we could have just like picked from the frog rock and the capybara rock, and that, would, that was fine. And they did quite all right in terms of their value. And then we had more and more goofy options. And then suddenly they're all like doing reasonably okay but they weren't doing as like super hyped up as they were before if you kind of catch my drift so will we see more animal rock skins being made wouldn't be surprised will they potentially be accepted wouldn't be surprised would it cause all of the other pre-existing animal rocks to potentially go down in price yes i wouldn't be surprised so this right here is cute he's goofy but yeah first of all he's also abnormal i don't need to rush into buying him buy order first look at support afterwards then make a decision right cool so sales definitely will have an impact on the uh, demand and then lastly charcoal furnace now i really do appreciate the design it's not too wacky it's not too insane it's perfect the way it is but furnace skins tend to be very weird during the year they tend to lose their value pretty quickly and this is something i definitely saw of last year's furnace skins there was a point last year where all of the 2022 furnace skins were in the negative and when you look at them now quite a lot of them are actually in the positive yeah so there was a point where every single one of these was all in the negative at one point and then post christmas happens suddenly they're all in the positive suddenly everybody wants them <laughs> so we can actually see this quite a bit here uh i'm not going to um include the diving furnace because it literally only became marketable today but there's only two furnaces here that are currently doing quite all right all of the other ones not so well at the moment and i unfortunately believe the charcoal furnace will suffer the same fate as these ones in the negative so yeah but a smart buy order could work out all right and still prove to be a good investment potentially again we need to see how many sales have happened we'll do our abnormal buy orders then we'll look at the buy order support and then we'll consider actually buying these abnormal skins but when it comes to these two skins like i said 
you're probably just better off just buying them. I'm not joking. But again, maybe save it until next week, you know, Wednesday or Thursday. Look at how many sales have happened and then consider jumping in. Sound good? And uh, yeah, I probably will be making another pirate progression video. So if you aren't fully aware of that, in my special playlist over here, uh, if you go to playlists, you'll see I have a special playlist called Helpful Ruskin Investing Videos. Basically, every single one of these videos has a special uh, lesson to be taught. And fairly recently, I've been, you know, covering the progress of the pirate collection. And looks like we're going to have a part three now because it's the final core piece. Technically speaking, with the pirate collection, what new thing is potentially going to cause a surge in demand and a surge in price? Because we have no other core pieces now. Maybe the boots and gloves if they ever get accepted. Maybe. But you probably won't see as big of a spike in demand as you have seen today for the likes of this. So from here on now, we just gotta keep we just gotta see how many of them exist. And that's basically it. Yep, that's this week. So be smarter, be patient, and then consider your options. Alright? thank you for watching i greatly appreciate it and uh yeah keep an eye on the workshop you never know what potentially might be appearing next it helps out a lot the more you are aware of what's potentially coming out soon the better prepared you can be sound good catch you later see you goodbye